While reed baskets and meat grilled over the fire serve an essential purpose, these are the tools of our most primitive ancestors, and cost us a lot of time and energy. We can do better. It's time to move on to clay working and pottery. Clay working is essential for creating numerous, extremely useful items. For the moment, the most important are the storage vessel, which is a far larger space to store items and increases the shelf life of vegetables by 25% and grains by 50%. The cooking pot, which allows us to make meals that are larger and more nutritious, and the crock pot, which allows us to store these meals and further expand their shelf life. There is also the bowl, which both allows us to take small, portable portions of meals and craft the ultra-useful oil lamp, a light source which never burns out and will not extinguish when submerged in water. Clay is most typically found in open fields and can be identified by its appearance as a pale, gray block with brown striations throughout and sparse grass on top. Because of the grass, it can be difficult to spot clay on the open world map, but not impossible. If you have a sharp eye, you can spot small patches of grayish-green discoloration amongst all the grass. Clay can be broken either by hand or with a shovel, and each block drops four to five pieces. It comes in two variations, fire clay and blue clay. Both types produce identical types of pottery, with the exception of decorative blocks like roof shingles, and bricks, which are used to make bloomeries for steel and glass, and the oven, which are only made using fire clay. Much like stone napping, hold the clay in hand and hold shift, and right-click the ground to select what you want to make. You can begin placing voxels with right-click and removing pieces with the left, moving up the object as you complete each layer. To speed up the process, you can hit F to change how much clay you're placing, and more usefully, you can also select Copy to duplicate the last layer you made by holding down right-click. This is particularly great for stuff like the storage vessel, which is very tall and has many layers that are the same. Once completed, you'll have the unfired pottery. Pottery can be fired in a pit kiln. A pit kiln is simply a hole in the ground. Shift right click to place the pottery in the hole, and then fill it with grass, sticks, and cover it up with firewood. Alternatively, if you've picked up any peat or bits of coal, you can substitute them in place of the firewood. Once lit, the pit kiln takes 24 in-game hours to finish. However, with peat, it takes 16, and with black or brown coal, it takes 12. This time span is also affected by sleeping. Light it up and be sure to keep it sheltered from the rain, and avoid allowing the fire to spread. Once it's burnt down, you'll have the finished item ready to use. With a little resource gathering, you should be able to quickly produce a good amount of pottery, which will really expand and stabilize your lifestyle. In the next video, we'll talk about furthering that venture by farming and cooking.